a crew member for the show Law and Order, was shot and killed in Brooklyn this morning while reserving a parking spot for the production. The investigation is ongoing. No arrests have been made. Here with reaction, former, former Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi, along with Fox News legal analyst Greg Jarrett. Pam, I don't even know why it was a question. We had the video. We had the audio. I don't want any trouble. He was attacked. He was pushed down, you know, against the wall and fell down. He got up to defend himself. And, you know, at that point, it's called self-defense, isn't it? Yeah, Sean, and legally, he was a victim from day one. He was always a victim. Not only that, they held him initially on half a million dollar bond. He should have never been held in jail. What if something had happened to that victim while he was held in jail? He finally got released from jail by a judge, and now the charges are dropped. Legally, he should have never been charged. The criminal is dead, and his girlfriend should be charged for stabbing the victim in the case. It's unbelievable, and it's just, it's a city in chaos there. That's what's happening. And when you have a DA who doesn't support victims of crime, um, it's just, it's going to get worse and worse until it gets better, until we elect these people out of office. What is your take on GoFundMe policies here? Uh, he was only charged with the crime. He was not found guilty of a crime, Greg Jarrett. And yet in this case of this guy, we have the evidence he fired these, these bullets into this woman's house with young kids. Yeah, well, it's completely backwards. And the bodega worker, you know, this is the only case I, I've seen recently where an idiot prosecutor actually files charges before conducting an investigation, and that should have been an easy one. Look at the tape. But the problem is that major cities like New York are run by liberal Democrats and progressive DAs that have instituted these social justice policies that have nothing to do with justice. They only incentivize crime, and criminals are treated, as Pam said, like victims, and innocent victims like the bodega worker are criminals. The leftists who control these municipalities, they don't believe in law and order, Sean. They embrace lawlessness and disorder because that's woke. And God forbid you ever offend the progressives. And New York is such a prime example. Liberal lawmakers ended the bail for most offenses. They created a revolving door of criminality. And the repeat perpetrators, they adore it. They love it. When they're arrested, they're back out on the streets before the paperwork is completed. They're already committing even more crimes. The BLM and defund police movements shattered effective policing. The ranks of officers shrank. Those who remain, I commend them for doing so. They fear retribution for simply doing their jobs. They're handcuffed by senseless policies and nutball incompetent politicians who resist common sense. Will this chase people out of these cities? There was a, a study that showed 44% of San Francisco residents want out in the next two years, Pam. Absolutely. San Francisco, Portland, New York, sadly, um, so many other places. And Sean, when you have Starbucks saying that it's not safe to have their stores open in many of these cities, that's a huge problem. It's not a recipe for crime reduction when you have DAs supporting criminals over victims, when you have politicians not backing up our great men and women in blue, when criminals are more emboldened than police officers. It's a problem and it's gotta change. That's why people have to look at their elections for DAs and judges in these cities. I think that's well said. Anyway, uh, Pam, thank you. Greg Jarrett, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.